Welcome to the Talent Management Console, where you can easily create and manage tasks within distinct environments. An environment is a self-contained space housing required resources, tasks, connections, engines, etc., allowing you to execute single tasks without impacting other environments. Whether you're working with your operations, creating and managing tasks and plans within your management tab, or creating and implementing remote engines, you can work directly within different distinct environments by simply switching between the tabs above. Within the environments page, I'm able to review all existing environments tied to my account, including each environment's number of associated workspaces, engines, and engine clusters. I'll show you how easy it is to create a new environment. I'll start by selecting Add Environment and give it a simple name. Creating a new environment requires us to establish a new workspace within, so I'll give my workspace a nice name too. I'm the workspace owner, so I'll leave the default. I have the chance here to allocate cloud engines to this environment. I can choose the number of engines proportionally to the number of concurrent task executions I plan to run. Fun fact, three separate tasks can be run in parallel on a single cloud engine. I'll click Save and I've successfully created my new environment within the workspace I specified. Within the environment details, I have the option to add more workspaces to this environment and adjust how many cloud engines I want allocated. If I want to run a local execution on my new environment, I need to assign a remote engine. Unlike cloud engines, remote engines and remote engine clusters belong to a single environment. I can choose to create a new engine from scratch within my new environments tab or I can enter any of my pre-configured engines and simply switch it to my new environment from the dropdown. Now my Dropbox remote engine is available to be used within my new environment to run locally. If a team member wants access to this workspace, I can head to my workspace permissions. Within my new environment, I can select this people icon to open a list of my team members to assign permissions. As the creator, I have full access to author, execute, manage, and publish within this workspace, but I can add any team member and permit them to have some or all authoritative power within my new workspace. And just like that, I've succeeded in creating a new environment for my team, ready to start creating tasks within my fresh new workspace. Thanks for watching, and please continue watching this series for more demonstrations of what this application has to offer.